brave little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pepper called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Pepper called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pepper called the doctor and the doctor said, No more This doesn't seem much like the park. Where are the swings and the roundabouts? It's more like a jungle. Yes, it's the jungle. And that's where Pedro is on holiday. Oh. Here is Pedro Pony. <laughs> Pedro! Nay. Hey. Hello, Peppa. Wow, is that your aeroplane? We've borrowed it for the afternoon. Are you having a nice holiday? Yes, it's brilliant in the jungle. There are parrots, monkeys and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I know a song about the jungle. Deep in the jungle, so very, very green. Swinging through the jungle. Oh. Does the jungle have puddles to jump in? Um, no. The jungle is nice, but we're going to the park to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> We'd better be on our way. Bye-bye, Pedro. Bye-bye, Peppa. My turn to drive. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> It really is just like driving a car. <laughs> Daddy, you have to go up in the air. Oh, yes. <laughs> um. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. Ugh. He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No. He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Mm. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, Ooh. swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow. Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Peppa. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. 
Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> going to bring Monkey. Ooh, ooh, that's not a real pet. It's a doll. It's not a doll. It's Monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. He likes you, Danny. Zoe can bring Monkey if she wants to. Home time, children. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your pets for the competition tomorrow. It is the evening before the pet competition. Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <laughs> You do it. <laughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr. Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <laughs> Oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. Susie has her owl. Twit to woo. And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> Mr. Zebra is watching television. <laughs> That's better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bag. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. <laughs> the sleepover is only for big girls. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK. But you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Shush. You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, 
Peppa, quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... Ah! He's too scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh, dear. The noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy and a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <coughs> The monster lifted up his big, hairy paws oh. and walked along on his big, hairy feet. Ooh. And he said... Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. <laughs>